Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're coming here from yesterday's video, I am sorry. I am just so sorry. Yesterday, we had a, an evil Thomas the Train Ninja video, but today we're calming it down a little bit. Today, we're watching somebody, for some reason, drop a very expensive piece of equipment down a very high flight of stairs. If that didn't make any sense to you, today we're going to be watching somebody drop an iPhone down a, a spiral staircase that's about 300 feet in the air. And for some reason, uh, he thinks it's going to survive? I mean, I personally would think that that, that phone is going to be shattered, right? It, it, there's going to be no more of the phone. It's it's glass. It's made of glass, and you're dropping it hundreds of feet. You know what? We won't even get into that. But now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in here to this man dropping. This is Tech Rax, by the way, dropping an iPhone XS guys, down Tech some Rax giant TV spiral TV staircase here. IPhone 10S. I want to show you it guys is working. Not a single blemish or crack on okay. this phone. Here's the front. Here's the back, 10 out of 10 condition. 10 out of 10 condition. Sparkling. So if it's a 10 out of 10 condition phone, tell me why, like the Backstreet Boys, tell me why you would be dro- I really hope that's the Backstreet Boys, by the way. Why would you be dropping this phone down the staircase? I There's no- You know what, let's keep doing it. Maybe he has a reason, I don't know. Dropping it off this spiral staircase. Oh my goodness! I don't even like looking down there, much less holding a phone over it. Kind of leaning too. He's using a. Ca you know what? Th that that's got to be one of my worst nightmares right there. Heights are a no go for your boy. But I mean, for this video, we're gonna have to just overcome it. The very bottom, you guys can see. That is so far. Way down below. But here's the perspective from the top. There won't be any case on the phone, guys. This is no case. Drop. So. Okay. It's going to be very interesting what happens to the phone. It's, I don't think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to break. Have a camera at the bottom. Hopefully, it'll be recording and everything will be in smoothly. So. And he's got a camera at the bottom. Imagine he drops the phone. It goes smooth all the way down. Smacks the camera going 100 miles an hour. That would be absolutely guys, lethal for that let's camera. Get into this. Okay, let's get straight iPhone into it. Truth, iPhone XS. Can you up? Uh, <laughs> Can you anybody out there validate the reason why he just turned down the brightness? W what did that serve? What purpose did this that that serve right there? My man just turned down the brightness, and he's gonna record. Okay. Just so I can make in slow mo. I don't think it's gonna matter at that point. It's gonna be toasty. It's so over with. I don't think he, it matters if you record. There we go. And well, let's see. Here we go, baby. Drop it. Here it goes. Oh, it's a nice drop. Oh, it, it definitely did not make it all the way down there. It hit something real hard. I don't know where it landed, but we just located the phone, guys. You know what I'm thinking, too? Like, he's dropping that phone down so many flights of stairs. Like it just did, it hit and then ricocheted onto another flight of stairs. So my man is having to climb up and down these stairs for so... My man got a nice little leg workout. I might have to try that sometime soon. Just drop my... You see this phone right here? I might just have to drop it off a, a 300-foot staircase here soon. You know what? No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't do that, kids. I mean, yeah. Phone. And it was. You know, somebody really could have used this phone. But no, my man Rax had to go up a 300-foot staircase and drop it off. And now look at him. My whole back of the phone is... I need to see the front of the phone. Let me see. The camera did look normal. Oh, the front wasn't that bad. Hold on. Oh, wait, he was going to show it. He was going to show it. But I, I want to see. Right here, it doesn't look that bad at all. It looks like you kind of just dropped it out of your pocket and it hit the concrete, but footage. you definitely so did more than the that. Thing I could do at this point is just yeah, the front's not bad. On. I can't unlock it. Yeah, but he can't even touch the phone. Of course not, of course. Okay, guys, now we got a different iPhone XS. A new one? My man, he said, forget it. We're just going to go get a new one. My man went out, bought a new iPhone and said, hey, this time we're putting a case on it. Does he have a case on it? In an otter box case and... He's got it in an OtterBox case. If this survives, this would be the best advertisement for OtterBox ever. They would just be like, you know what? If you want to buy one of our cases, don't worry. You could go up to the Eiffel Tower and drop it for some reason and still be all right. But, I mean, come on. There's no way that this phone survives. There's no chance. Boxes, but see if we can actually hit the bottom of the floor. Last time it was around the floor. Yeah, last time it, it, it veered off a little location. bit. Once we do that... Um, if the phone survives, we're going to take it out of the case and do another drop test. Same spot. Same There's no way. Guys. So this is going to be interesting. I think it, if it survives, the, it, it's not going to survive. In the case first, let's get straight into this. There we okay, the here we go. With the OtterBox on. It's in the case. 
Let's go ahead and do it whenever you're ready. I'm ready. I've been ready. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a smooth drop. Yes. Oh. We literally got Listen it. Listen for it. Every floor. Yes. Okay, guys. I didn't even hear it hit. And check Did it you guys out. hear it hit? That's crazy. Oh, we get to view. Did it save? It didn't even break. There's no possible way that this OtterBox just saved this phone. Because if that's the case, I'm ordering one right now. If I get past this headache that I'm getting from this stupid... Oh, it didn't even go all the way down. Did it land on the... Actually, it did go all the way down, but I think it hit one of the staircases on the way down. And just to Let's show see. You guys we're on floor three, we're walking down... Oh, it, it landed on floor three of 300? So it's out of the case, and it's cracked. It does got a crack right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, first of all, let me- DANG! Whoa. Oh my goodness! So you mean to tell me if I get an OtterBox case- I'm sorry, you know what, I, this isn't me, I'm just speculating on what I'm seeing right here. If I were to get an OtterBox, does that mean that if I drop my phone, it, it's just gonna be worse than me dropping my phone without a case? Well, let's give them some credit. This one fell a lot- this one fell like, what, 297 feet? The other one fell like, maybe 30 feet, so we'll, we'll give that to the OtterBox. What? But it did, I don't even know, half of the phone is in the, the case and the other one is not. What? How does that even happen? That's what I'm saying, that's crazy. The whole phone. The entire phone. There's two pieces. Well now you got two phones, family! Okay. Get you a screen on that one and a back on that one, you're safe. It's hot, it is hot. <laughs> Definitely no shot. On. Um, this thing just... Do, do, hold on, go back! On. One one second. What did he say? Definitely not turning on. Of course it, Look at the phone, my man. Of course it's not turning on right now. Um, <laughs> Definitely not turning on. Just in half. Came out. Disconnected everything. <laughs> start using some tools here to try and... Oh, my man's trying to get it out of the case. Almost there. 20 minutes later. Wow. Wow. Yes. We can finally see. Oh my goodness. That is guys, insane. The in the phone just absolutely destroyed. Oh, the back, what though. The heck, the back is literally in perfect condition. There's no crack, no shadow. Wow, no okay. I see you, OtterBox. Display, but look at this. The front completely popped out. Just the seal completely broken. Back yeah. Shriveled up. So, you know, the back of the phone looked absolutely amazing. There was no difference than when, to when he put it in there to when he took it out. But... Now this is a big butt. The front of the the front of the phone there, ah, it's 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 not working anymore. It's not going to be working anytime soon, nor will it ever be working again. But I mean, if you get a new screen on there, so that would that up, work? Guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna video. go with no. Kind of shocking. To Look me. at I've that. Never seen something like this to where you know the. Phone that is crazy to me. In a case which, first of all, I thought the phone would completely survive. Right. I did not. Reason, but Why would you think that phone would survive? You know what? That's where we're gonna end the video because that's pretty much the end of this video. But, I mean, let me know down in the comments below. Did you think any either of those phones were going to survive? One was dropped completely without a case. I figured that phone was going to be destroyed. But the other one, with the case, it looked like it was even worse than the other one. Like, uh, well, I mean, it technically wasn't that bad. You know what? I don't know what to think. Let me know down in the comments below. I don't think I'm going to be dropping my phone off a 300-foot stairwell. But if you do, hey, more power to you. And if you like this video, of course, hit that like button and also that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love you. Goodbye.